So today I'm gonna go over a main idea with you guys. Um, it's more of a review, so I'm hoping it's stuff that you guys remember from the school year. Um, we're gonna kind of be going over the same concepts that we did. I'm gonna go over a story with you guys, um, and then go over the graphic organizer, and hopefully you guys will be able to do it on your own for the assignment. So you guys have seen this before. I've done this a lot of times in my classroom. Um, we kind of think of main idea like a table. So up here is the top of the table and it's the biggest part because it's the most important part. And we know that main idea is what the story is mostly about, okay? Um, it's not the title. Um, so if you have a story about dogs, like I say, and the title's dogs, it's not necessarily going to be about dogs. It could be, um, what dogs eat, what dogs like to do, the types of breeds of dogs. I've talked about that before. So it's what the story is mostly about. Um, and then our legs down here, they support the top of the table. And those are our details, um, the details that support the main idea. So it's things that go with your main idea. It has to kind of match it. Um, so the story we're going to do is, well, first I want to review this a little bit. It's kind of what I just said. Um, so kind of skim over this. This is from iReady. Um, so basically when you're finding main idea, you're identifying the biggest, most important idea about a topic. Um, so if we go down, it says, as you read an informational text, you're going to figure out the point that the author wants you to understand the most. So what does the author want me to know from reading this story? So the main idea is the most important idea. And then the key details support the main idea by giving um, important facts or examples and other information um, to explain it. So down here, I might tell you where to find the main idea, where it says, in an informational text, an author often states the main idea early in a paragraph or passage. Key details that say more about the main idea usually follow right after it. So I know I talk a lot of times um, in the classroom, we can usually find the main idea in the first or last sentence. Um, that's super important to remember that. You kind of get an idea from the title. You can look at pictures um, or any words that are used more than one time. So the story we're going to do is, and this is just a review one more time. Um, it's called Lewis and Clark's Faithful Companion. So I'm just gonna read through this with you guys and then I'm gonna do the graphic organizer that follows. So, um, this is a short story. When Lewis and Clark explored the Western United States, a dog named Seaman protected them. One night, a large buffalo came near their tent. Seaman chased the buffalo away. Another night, a grizzly bear entered their camp. Seaman barked and barked at the bear. He barked until the bear ran away. Seaman also protected Lewis and Clark by making sure they had food. Every day, Seaman hunted squirrels for the men to eat. So after reading that, uh, I'm gonna scroll down and the direction says, well, it says to think and it says, use what you've learned about reading informational text to identify two key details that support the main idea of the passage. Complete the chart by adding two more details. So I'm gonna go through this with you guys. And up at the top, it already gives you the main idea. So it says, Lewis and Clark's dog Seaman protected the explorers. So that whole passage was about Seaman protecting the explorers. And let's see where we found that at in my story. So towards the front, it says, when Lewis and Clark explored the Western United States, a dog named Seaman protected them. So we found that in the first sentence, which I said is super important to remember. Um, so that's where they found their main idea. So I have a chart and I actually already filled that in. Um, Lewis and Clark's dog Seaman protected the explorers. So let's move down to our first key detail. And you have to remember our key details have to go with our main idea or support it. So my key detail one says Seaman chased away a buffalo. Well, is that how he protected um, Lewis and Clark? which yes, he did, he chased the buffaloes away and let's see where we can find it in the text. Right up here, Seaman chased the buffalo away. There's one way he protected them. So now we need to find another way that he protected them for key detail number two. So let's see. So we have Seaman chased the buffalo away and then our very next sentence it says, another night a grizzly bear entered their camp. 
Seaman barked and barked at the bear. He barked until the bear ran away. So I think that that is another way that Seaman might have protected his um, owners or Lewis and Clark. So I'm going to fill that in in the next part of my graphic organizer. So. So while I'm doing this, just kind of look at the story and see if you can find another one while I'm filling this out. Okay, so now I have my second key detail that tells me how um, Seaman protected the explorers. So my first one, Seaman chased away a buffalo, and my second one, he barked until the bear ran away. So now I need to find one more way how Seaman protected the explorers. So let's see. Seaman also protected Lewis and Clark by making sure they had food. Every day, Seaman hunted squirrels for the men. That is another way that Seaman protected them by making sure they always had food to eat. So I'm going to fill that in on my last part of my graphic organizer. And it's super important to know where you're finding these at in the text. So I'm going to fill that in. All right. So. Let's just go over this one more time. So my main idea, which was found in the first sentence, which is where you can usually find it, is Lewis and Clark's dog, Seaman, protected the explorers. So my passage was mostly about how Seaman protected them. And my key details show me how he protected them. So my first one, he chased away a buffalo, which does tell me how he protected them. My second one, he barked until the bear ran away. And lastly, Seaman hunted for the explorers. So one more time before you guys kind of do this on your own. If you think about a table, I think that helps. So you know your biggest part of the table is what the story is mostly about, just like the top of the table is the most important part. Then you move down to the legs and your legs of a table support the top of it, just like your details are gonna support your main idea. So, um, what I want you guys to do is read the next story, The Snake and the Charmer, and I want you to go through and find the main idea and the key details and then put that in the discussion and I want to see what you guys think. Thanks.